Now that I went and looked at each of the gods in the Bruma Chapel and came up somewhat empty on Kinnereth, I think it is time for a quick recap from one of my books on the subject. Akatosh, the dragon god of time, is the chief deity of the Divines, the official religion of the human empires throughout much of Tamriel's history. He represents the qualities of endurance, invincibility, and everlasting legitimacy. Along with Lorcan and Mara, he is one of the three deities found in almost every Tamrielic religion, with only the Dunmer, Orsimer, Argonian, and Cothringi not having a dragon god of time in their pantheons. He is generally considered to be the first of the gods to form in the beginning place. After his establishment, other spirits followed his example, and the various pantheons of the world emerged. Before the Ages of Man suggests that he and Oriel are the same being, but further confirms that after his formation, time began. Akatosh is considered the god defender of the Empire. Arke, also known as the god of the cycle of birth and death, is a major divinity of the Nine Divines, the official religion of the Cyrodiilic empires, and represents the qualities of birth and death, most particularly burials and funeral rites, as well as on occasion being linked to the cyclical nature of the seasons. Some sources state that Arke's life began as a mortal, who joined the ranks of the gods. Dibella is the goddess of beauty, love, art, and music, and is one of the Nine Divines. In Cyrodiil, she has nearly a dozen different cults, some devoted to women, some to artists and aesthetics, and some even to erotic instruction. Yes, she is actually quite favored by a lot of people. Julianos, the god of wisdom and logic, is one of the Nine Divines. To the Nords, he is known as Juno, father of language and mathematics. In Cyrodiil, Julianos is god of literature, law, history, and contradiction. The Elder Scrolls are kept by monastic orders dedicated to Julianos. And as I said, a lot of mages follow Julianos. Kinnereth, called Kine by the Nords, Kin by the Khajiit, and Tava by the Red Guards, is a goddess of the Nine Divines. She is the strongest of the Sky Spirits and is the deity of the heavens, the winds, the elements, and the unseen spirits of the air. Patron of sailors and travelers, Kinnereth is invoked for auspicious stars at birth and for good fortune in daily life. In some legends, she is the first to agree to Lorcan's plan to invent the mortal plane and provides space for its creation in the void. She is also associated with rain, a phenomenon said not to occur before the removal of Lorcan's divine spark. She is often associated with Xenathar, as Xenathar's craftsmen use products provided by Kinnereth's natural world. Thus, one cannot worship Xenathar without acknowledging the power of Kinnereth. Mara is a goddess of the Nine Divines. She is also known as Mother Goddess and Goddess of Love in the Empire, and in Skyrim as Handmaid of Kine. She makes an appearance in almost every culture's pantheon in Tamriel, and at times is affiliated with Nur, who gave birth to creation. She may be married to, or act as a concubine of, either Akatosh or Lorcan, depending on the religion. Stendar also known as Serendar, as the god of righteous might and merciful forbearance. He is the inspiration of magistrates and rulers, the patron of the imperial legions, and the comfort of the law-abiding citizen. Stendar has evolved from his Nordic origins into a deity of compassion, or sometimes righteous rule. He is said to have accompanied Tiber Septim in his later years. In early Altmeri legends, Stendar is the apologist of men. I actually favor him the most out of all the nine divines. Xenathar is the divine of work, commerce, and trade. He preaches that his followers should work hard, be wise in their spendings, and never steal. He is almost always portrayed as male, and is associated with the Bosmeri Breton god, Zen, as well as the blue star that sometimes shines over Tamriel. And last we have Talos, also known as Tiber Septum, Izmir, Dragonborn, and the heir to the seat of sundered kings is the most important hero god of mankind. Much of his life as the mortal Tiber Septum is shrouded in legend and hearsay, but one feat is undisputed. He became the first person to successfully unite all the nations of Tamriel under a single empire. Talos is worshipped as the protector and patron of just rulership and civil society, and his Nordic aspect of Ismer is also seen as the patron of questing heroes.
I have picked up my next contract from the dead drop in the castle Skindrag well. I have been ordered to kill the Khajiit Jagasta, who can be found at his house in Bruma. Jagasta is a master of unarmed combat and will prove a challenging opponent. I should also be aware that Jagasta is expecting trouble and has paid off the guards to look the other way if our fight spills out into the city streets. Do I know where he lives? Or do I have to go door to door knocking on... Oh, he's close... Well, everywhere's close inside these cities. So on the other side... Okay, I know exactly where it is. On the other side of the... The... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> well met. Not well met. On the other side of the temple here. This is his home. Well, not really much point of trying to sneak in this armor. I don't even know if he's home. Perhaps I should have changed into my outfit, though. Well, I can do it right here. Oops, definitely not going to work on my armor. What makes this smell? Shh. It's actually a very clean home. Not something I'd expect from a Khajiit. And he's not here. Well, this is his practice room. Actually, it's kind of a nice little home. Nothing really. No upstairs. I was going to say, it reminds me of a Nord's home. Well... We're in Bruma, that makes sense. I'm sure a Nord built it at some point. Well, I don't know where he is. Maybe at the local watering hole? There's not that many Khajiits here. I don't even remember ever seeing one. Just like in Skyrim. You... No, there's a Khajiit. No. Today's your lucky day. Not so a let's hear it. Old Banelin is dead. I hear it was a horrible accident. He was resting in his chair, and boom, a stuffed head fell on him. <laughs> Is that so? Safe travels. Take care. One of my former contracts. If those talk about Jocasta being killed. Well, I don't see a Khajiit. He's got a home here, so I don't know why he'd be renting a room. Sure can tell a good story. I find purpose Maybe he's not normally a big... Maybe in the chapel? I don't see a Khajiit anywhere. How do you do? Uh, hello. Surak. To think. It was here at Bruma where the tide finally turned against the Oblivion invasion. No. Yeah. Now we're counting on you to help Martin claim the throne and put an end to this terrible war. I know you won't fail us. That's old news. Is that the last thing you heard? Hmm. Really old news. You see. Where else would a Khajiit go? Isn't there another drinking establishment here? Maybe I have to go see him at night. I mean, that is the best time for assassinations. But, you know, I could sneak into homes during the day, if they're there, and remove them. No, oh, I have no idea where he is. All I have is this is his home, and that's it. But is there another drinking establishment here? Another inn? I thought maybe that there was. Okay. I would think it'd be over here somewhere. House for sale. I definitely don't want to live here. Hammer and axe. 
Nor but these are shops. Bruma Fighters Guild, Mages Guild, Honlin's House. Bruma Branch, Gerald View Inn. Does Gerald View Inn? We can try that. That's a place I haven't remember even going to. I'm sure I have been here, though. The pleasant atmosphere. It's nice in here. Who said Nords live like barbarians? Orcs. I can imagine he's a good teacher. It's not a fighter's guild. Should be proud of. No tail. It's you. Good to see you. Hi. Check that out. Was where Martin Septim chose to reveal himself as the true heir to the throne for the first time than Hafid Hollowleg? I have to make sure that this actually is a Khajiit. Um, yeah. The Khajiit, Jagasta. The only Khajiit that I know of was the one in the Mage's Guild, and he left. He was the only one that survived. They're a sneaky looking sort. Well. I don't know how he has time. Well, I think I could ask. Please don't be shy. Keeps yes, busy I'm listening. Repairing weapons, training light armor. Hello. Hail, savior of Bruma. Huh. Thank you for noticing. What can you tell me about Bruma? The Countess collects Akaviri artifacts. She might have a project in mind. Uh, oh, okay. Goodbye. Yeah, far well. that was long months ago. I rescued. Farewell. Uh, her. Afternoon. Hello. Picked up an artifact for her. I've heard others say they say syndicates of I thought I just heard the name because just scarred. Well, I may just have to wait till it's late. Hopefully he'll come home. Dead cats. Guess uh Well met. Guess my companion's out killing cats. That's what he does during the day. Huh. What is this place? Short shared quarters. I have no idea what that's about. I am curious. Oh. Who are you people? For the love of Azura, can't a man have a bit of privacy? Get out of here! All right, let's go. I don't know what that's about. That seems strange to me. Who will help an old beggar? Why is this person dead and frozen? How about mixing up some potions? You know, it'd be really easy if he was just in the south. I could have killed him and been on to my next uh, job. Going to Coral to speak with the Dark Elf, Orin. Well, I guess all we can do is wait. So we've waited out here all day. Huh. No one's come home. Something is wrong. Maybe there's something we missed. Is there a trap door around here? Supposedly he trains in unarmed combat, but would have thought that this would be where he is. Phew. Well, this is weird. Oh, wait. There's a trap door here. Ah. Maybe this is where it's hiding. You gonna help, Vilya? Uh. I know. 
killing myself. That really hurt. Chigasa is dead. I must pick up my reward and the next contract at the dead drop located in the rotten box under the old bridge just south of the Imperial City. Rotten box under the old bridge. Hmm. Vilya, trying to see how well I was going to do? What is this? Oh, this book. Kajit book. And he has another room to practice downstairs. He really, really practices a lot. Brothers of Darkness. Have I not read this? Uh, as their name suggests, the Dark Brotherhood has a history shrouded in obfuscation. <laughs> their ways are secret to those who are not themselves brothers of the Order. Brother is a generic term. Some of their deadliest assassins are female, but they are often called brothers as well. How they continue to exist in shadow, but be easily found by those desperate enough to pay for their services, is not the least of the mysteries surrounding them. The Dark Brotherhood sprang from a religious order, the Morag Tong, during the Second Era. The Morag Tong were worshippers of the Daedra spirit Mafala, who encouraged them to commit ritual murders. In the early years, they were as disorganized as the only obscure cultists could be. There was no one to lead the band, and as a group, they dared not murder anybody of importance. This changed with the rise of the Night Mother. All leaders of the Morag Tong, and then afterward, the Dark Brotherhood, have been called the Night Mother. What? All leaders? Uh, whether the same woman, if it is even a woman, has commanded the Dark Brotherhood since the Second Era is unknown. What is believed is that the original Night Mother developed an important doctrine of the Morag Tong. The belief that while Mafala does grow stronger with every murder committed in her name, certain murders were better than others. Murders that came from hate pleased Mafala more than murders committed because of greed. Murders of great men and women please Mafala more than murders of relative unknowns. We can approximate the time this belief adopted with the first known murder committed by the Morag Tong in the year 324 of the Second Era. The potentate Versaduche was murdered in his palace in what is today the elsewhere kingdom of Seneschal. In a brash move, the Night Mother announced the identity of the murderers by painting Morag Tong on the walls of the Potentiate's own blood. Previous to that, the Morag Tong existed in relative peace, more or less like a witch's coven, occasionally persecuted but usually ignored. In remarkable synchronicity at a time when Tamriel, the arena, was a fractured land, the Morag Tong was outlawed throughout the continent. Every sovereign gave the cult's elimination its highest priority. Nothing more was officially heard of them for a hundred years. It is more difficult to date the era when the Morag Tong re-emerged as the Dark Brotherhood, especially as other guilds of assassins have sporadically appeared throughout the history of Tamriel. The first mention of the Dark Brotherhood that I have found is from the journals of the Blood Queen Arlimhera of Hegath. She spoke of slaying her enemies by her own hand, or if necessary, with the help of the Night Mother, and her Dark Brotherhood, the secret arsenal my family has employed since my grandfather's time. Arlem Hera wrote this in Second Era 412, so one can surmise that the Dark Brotherhood has been in existence since at least 360 if her grandfather had truly made use of them. The important distinction between the Dark Brotherhood and the Morag Tong was that the Brotherhood was a business as much as it was a cult. Rulers and wealthy merchants used the Order as an assassin's guild, the Brotherhood gained the obvious rewards of a profitable enterprise, as well as the secondary benefit and that rulers could no longer actively persecute them. They were needed. They were purveyors of an essential commodity, even at extremely, even an extremely virtuous leader would be unwise to mistreat the Brotherhood. Not long after Arlem Hera's journal entry came perhaps the most famous series of executions in the history of the Dark Brotherhood, the Akaviri Emperor Potentiate Savrian Korak and every one of his heirs were murdered on one bloody night in Sunstone 430. Within a fortnight, the Akaveri Potentiate crumbled to the delight of its enemies. For over 400 years, until the advent of the warrior Emperor Tiber Septum, chaos reigned over Tamriel. Though no comparably impressive executions have been recorded, the Brotherhood must have grown fat with gold during this, that interregnum. Kind of scared me, wasn't ready for that. Alright, so. 
We've killed another one. My Maroon's Razor did okay, actually. Surprisingly. I thought it would have done worse. Alright, so... Where's the drop box? Oh, there. I was thinking this bridge here. I don't really consider these bridges. They are, but they're just very small. Alright, so the best way to get there is to go to the Imperial City. And, uh... Take my horse south. So... Of course, it just happens to be a horrifically stormy morning. Alright, let's go. Should be just to the south of here. Oh well. It is cold out. Cold rain. Cold day. I haven't been in these ruins, though they're probably the most thoroughly excavated and explored ruin, um, alien ruins in all of Cyrodiil. What was it called again? I forget. Well, my map list is as Fanakesical. That's how you say it. Oh, the deer. Four does. Frost Saturnine. Well, yeah, I feel like I'm being watched. I don't have to. Which bridge was it? It's the next one. I don't have to stop and kill everything. It's not my duty. I'm not a legion soldier sworn to protect the roads. Huh? What? We have a bandit on us. So that I will stop for. You will be so dead. Nice going, Wolfgang. The fool. It's the next bridge over, which should be really close, right here. So, there's supposedly a rotting box underneath. Ugh. It's cold enough, now I've got to go into the river. I don't see anything. It's probably because it's in the water. Ah, cold. Oh no, here's a box. Kind of jumped to the other side. Another 500 septums, dead bra dead drop orders, four. I picked up my reward and received my next contract. I have picked up my next contract from the dead drop beneath the old bridge. I have been ordered to kill an Argonian hunter named Chalise, who is holed up in the flooded mine. She is a wanted psychopath, so I should be cautious. Oh. Well, you know what, that last person I killed was part of the Dark Brotherhood. I don't feel bad killing him. Now, uh, this next one is a wanted psychopath, so... <laughs> it's actually quite close. Should I go to the flooded... It's just north of Bruma. Or, sorry, Brazil. Should I go to the flooded mine? Where was the other place? Uh, that's in Coral to go speak with Modern Orin. You know what? I would like to go and... We're nearby. Let's go. Well, everyone's nearby when I can teleport. Let's go, uh... Kill my next target. Not a psychopath. Actually, it feels nice to kill people that are bad, but on the other hand, as I said, people can just make up anything they want. And say anybody's a wanted psychopath. For those partially virtuous like myself, adds a little incentive, or at least eliminates the guilt. All right. So, we'll turn right and then go to this flooded mine. Oh well, being uncomfortable, at least you know you're alive. My legs are all wet. A lot of people on horseback. 
lot. In fact, I don't ever remember seeing this many. Whoa! I didn't expect to run into a Minotaur. You ah. don't scare hey, me! Shadow Mirror. Where's he going? Is he going after this woman? Hey, come on! Hey, come on! Stupid! Uh, I'm not chasing it down there for its horns. I don't need its horns, anyways. Shadowmir, you're like one of the party. You just join in on any How fighting. Are you today? Uh, I can't tell which one is Bruso. That's what happens when you. There's no significant markings to tell your horse apart. I mean, even without the armor, I could tell this is Shadowmere because of the red eyes. Very distinctive. Okay, so this is a bit of a beautiful place. I have been here. Oh. No, I'm going the right way. Path continues on this way. That's the beginning of the aqueduct. That was one of the first things I did when I got out of prison. Yeah. Oh, isn't another minotaur down there? Sun's dawn. I mean, that was like five months ago. Something just happened in that time. Listen, uh. Let the guards handle it. Why are there suddenly minotaurs on the loose out here? Not my job. Oh, what is this? Legion soldier fighting a bandit, I take it? I'm gonna bet on the Legion soldier winning. Fergus, could you please stop whistling all the time? Sometimes it gets annoying. Is Shigorath taking you? Fergus is not with us. Maybe he, Shigorath is, because if you certainly hear a whistling that isn't actually there, well, first off, you probably find <laughs> you must find his whistling extremely annoying. And here's another minotaur. Ooh, two intact horns. This one is different. Is this? It's a minotaur lord. You're a dangerous All right, take a soul. Gun, soul trap. Ah! Ah! Die. Yes. Whitish, it's older. I think it's horns. Just in case I need that ingredient in the future. Hey, mount up. I'm cold, wet, and I want to get to where somewhere is dry and warmer, or at least not cold. Moving around on horseback doesn't exactly. I mean, the horse is kind of warm. If you're that cold, it keeps you a little bit warm. But running around on foot, that'll warm you up. Why would they make this so twisty? I thought the Imperials were really good at making roads and bridges and aqueducts. Twisty roads just don't seem very logical. Yeah. So twisty, I might as well just keep riding the other side and not follow it. It's like a Khajiit made these roads. Designed them, I should say. All right. Uh, is this a little pathway going to the flooded mine? I don't think so. Someone's been this way recently. Maybe our psychopath killer. Psychopathic killer. Oh. Need I even bother to dress in my assassin's gear? No. I'm not doing it where I have to keep them hushed. Ugh. This is definitely not going to warm me up. Cold, 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 cold.
Well, that's enough to warm a man up, no matter how cold it is. Vilya, you're just too nice to look at. Well, that's probably my target. Alright. Hey. Okay, now well, so it begins. I actually can coat my weapons with poison. I haven't been doing that in a while. You leave my friends in those, you bastard! Shaliz is dead. I must pick up my reward and next contract at the dead drop located in the coffin just outside the ruins of Fort Redman. Where the heck is that? Uh, long sword of fracturing, short sword of winter. Oh, this is a Spartan life. It's like my prison cell wasn't much worse than this, or better than this, I should say. This wasn't much wor better than my prison cell. <laughs> yes, I need to wake up. Mm hmm. I don't remember coming in this way. Uh, well, I don't care to explore some musty old cave. Okay, so if I go here, turn right. Which probably means going back in the water. Is this way? Ugh. No, I'm completely soaking and cold. Okay, so I go back this way. I really want to warm up. breath. Put the ring on before I start dying. Alright, so we have to go straight this way and then make a left turn. <sighs> this way. And even colder now than when I came in. <sighs> My dearest friend. How are you doing today? Dearest friend. Fergus huh? talks a lot of crap. Did you know what he said the other day? That I have freckles. I. Okay, How I dares know. he? I know this is an old argument between the two of you. Alright. Let's go. Goodbye. Mount up. So. Where's the dead drop? Ugh. Fort Redman. Right by Fisherman's Rock. I guess I should just ride down there then. Though it might be faster to teleport to Leowin. Probably would be faster. So. Mm, yeah. Sonar recall. It's nice and not so freezing cold in here. But it will be warmer down in Leowin, and I want to go down there. Alright, well, I'm not freezing anymore. Magnus is out. Warmer down here in Leowin. We don't have that far to travel.
Wait, we have to find a way across. And... Yeah, it's... Or... Yeah. Oh, either way. We go here or we go nearby where it is. There is a bridge over there. Whatever. Time to get a little bit wet again. Mostly on the part of Shadowmere, though. Well, my legs are a little wet. Oblivion Gates. Ugh. Dead horse and smells really bad. Rotting through and through. Full of maggots and all that fun stuff. Let's we'll just go along the river. The Nibbin. Ugh. Something smells awful around here. the graveyard, but I don't think that's what was putting out the smell. Some more dough. Ah, misty. I don't mind the mist. As long as it's not too thick or you can't see your hand in front of your face. If it's that bad, yeah, that's scary. Well, I've been here before. When I was working with Mazoga the Orc, I think. Alright, so... Whoa. Well, that's warm. I want to get warmed up. But I'm not so cold anymore, though. Okay, so it's outside of Red Man Fort. They don't use these forts anymore. go around the other side so I don't have to get so wet. Is it here? I smell undead. Something's rotting, at least anyways, and I assume it's undead. Oh, oh it's fell through that hole. I hear a neuron root. Necromancers. Lovely. Ah, here's my dead drop. Alval Yuvani's schedule. Dead drop orders five. Um, I have picked up my next contract for the dead drop in the coffin outside of Fort Redman. I have been ordered to kill Alval Yuvani, a dark elf merchant who spends his time traveling around Cyrodiil. I should consult the schedule that has been left for me to determine where and when I should strike. Yuvani is a master in the Destruction School of Magicka and has killed before, but he does have a weakness. If Alval Yuvani drinks mead, he will be rendered immobile due to a rare allergy to honey. Oh, that's pretty unique. Alright, so, um... I don't know where he is right now. All these orders I can probably just get rid of. Alval Yovani's schedule. As he travels around Cyrodiil, Alval Yovani can be found at the following locations on the following days. Mordas Tertus. So, uh, prevail the Lonely Suitor Lodge. Okay, so he goes from Prevail to Skingrad, Bruma, and Leowin. He's got a house in Leowen, rented property, and he spends Sundust there. Uh, keep in mind that there may be some variation based on the time it takes for him to get to different cities. Okay. Um, well, right now he's in Bruma. Well, the only thing to do then is to teleport myself over there. Probably should use a star on Roman 
Let's raid that game. Anything else? Okay, Bruma. Back to this place. Alright. Oh, that's a big jump. Oh. Ugh. So, what does he do? I don't... He's just a mage? Why does he wander Cyrodiil? Oh, oh fucking get him do. drunk. Do you know that Justice is Brolis? Do. That's him, I Spell think. sword? No, don't be I can't say I know the way. How about I understand that you'll train people to cast illusions. Meat. Meat. Price. How about that? Have you not, heard any word about not dressed like a mage. Nothing I'd like to talk about. Goodbye. Hello. Ah, it's Hello. very good to see you again. Good to see you again. Uh, heard any good rumors lately. To think that Bruma was where Martin Septim chose to reveal himself as the true heir to the throne for the first time. Yes, magnificent, isn't it? All right, let's, ah, let's uh, do get business. some mead. Ah, uh, two mead. I let that go too cheaply. Another satisfied customer. Goodbye. Hope to see you again soon. Always a pleasure. You get any closer and I'll turn your bones to ash. Hello. I have no time for your pathetic attempts at small talk. Now walk away before I get nasty. I think I remember him from a long time ago. What's on your mind, sweetheart? So, Hello you can't even be talked to, huh? I have no time for your pathetic attempts at small talk. Now, walk away be Enough. How are Enough. Things? Not bad. Good to hear. Mm. Hmm. Goodbye. Hi there. Thank Akatosh, the oblivion crisis is over. Hola. Ah, it's very good to see you again. I was wondering if you couldn't give this a bit. Dark Elf some mead, somehow. Slip it in. Any way you can. No? Okay. Hope to see you again soon. Interesting. Well, I have two options. I can try placing I'm mead listening. and say it's Go ahead. just ale in front of him. Or wait for him chapter. to leave, follow him on the road between cities and kill him there. Seems off. I'm Give right here. Location. I might as well try. Still, I suppose there's no harm. Hello and well met. It sounds like the Knights of the Night are on a real crusade. A bottle of ale for you. I like this place. Not too hot. And the people Have are you heard so any friendly. word about the other no, provinces? You know. So now all I do is wait. Just like that Draconis fellow. You get it. Hello. Hello. Poor well, I don't know if he's even going to eat. I don't know drink how it. he manages to live with Skjorta. He sure got his hands full between smithing and training and light armor. I don't know Not how he does it. How Interesting. Heard yes, any how about a drink? The other provinces? I've heard that. Let's drink like a Nord. Oh, yeah, mead. Nord warriors have traveled from Skyrim with orc mercenaries to assault the Redoran of Morrowind. How could they do that? More fighting for the Nords? This is sad news. Good day. Stop talking to him so we can drink. Ah, oh, he's drinking it's out of another mug. I wish I had that poison apple. Well, he's really going hard at the mead. Or sorry, it can't be mead. You? It's not what I gave him. Better. How about you? Ale? Not bad. Wine? Don't Is know. it true what they're saying? Brandy? Is Bainlin really dead? No, no. Isn't <laughs> all found amazing? <sighs> He's an excellent smith and good at teaching light armor skills. This is going to get it. very boring if I have to wait all day to see what this idiot's going to do. <laughs> what time is it? 
Well, it's evening. Uh... Good day. Take care. Well, he's, he goes from town to town. I don't... I don't know what time he leaves, though. Good to see you. Hello? I don't find goblins very scary compared to some of the creatures I have seen in Saul's time. I did just said the meat that was going to paralyze him because he's allergic to it. It wasn't going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> What's the f you better not have stolen something from me. I think that was a Nord boy. Wow. He's here to get drunk. <laughs> we all have some wine. Tamika's West Wheeled Wine. It's pretty good wine. Not as good as they have back home, but pretty good. <sighs> well, we're just gonna have to wait. See what this fool does. I wouldn't call him a friend. Well, he's moved. Still, if I wanted to learn more, I didn't drink the ale. Like like someone who's comfortable in heavy armor. He is that the mead. So. Didn't drink the mead. Is a good healer. He's a red guy, right? but you'd think he was a. <sighs> it's after midnight. I might just have to wait for him you know, to leave. Yes. Mm. It's almost as if he grew up in Skyrim. I don't think the church. Is I think he's going to stay here for the next day. So we might as well sleep in here. No cat, stay out. Let's see if he's here tomorrow or later today. All right, it's early the next morning. He finally left. Good morning. Okay, watch out. I'm listening, please. Oh. Okay. I'm, I don't have my horse. But I do move fast on foot. Shadow Mirror's not here because I didn't use one of the mages get teleporters. That sound is abhorrent. Find this dark elf. He is as good as dead, as Vilya would say. Ah. Whoa, this is high. Whoa! Oh. Ow! Ah, that really hurt. <coughs> Damn it! I gotta keep going. Uh, don't know where he is. Oh. Ow! That's it, just keep on falling on the same injury. I'm getting good at jumping acrobatics. See, I could fall not on where I heard it. Uh, I don't know where this fool is or what time he left. Just keep going. My healing spell really helped. Ah! Ah. Hopefully he hasn't gone to another city already. That would be very frustrating. He didn't drink my damn mead and I placed it in front of him. I can't move any faster than this. Well, unless I was on horseback. Keep going, keep going. It was I found being watched. I, think I killed orcs here months ago. Oh, has he gotten to the Imperial City? Okay, so there's no point chasing him. I will meet him in his home in Leowin. Otherwise, there's no point running all the way across Cyrodiil. We know where he's going.
He's got a home there, right? So... If I read that right... Leowen, he's got a house. That would be easy to kill him in. Where is the house? I do not... Oh, okay. So straight ahead, past here. Choke, please. This way, this way. It's over here. Skeleton key never fails. There he is. He got here fast. I have killed Alval Yuvani. I must pick up my reward and next contract at the dead drop located in the market district in the Imperial City, in a hollowed out tree stump behind Stonewall Shields. Wow. Now oh, I can loot whatever I want. Although those days, it's not so, those days are kind of behind me and it's not so exciting anymore. I have over 412 septums, so. Well, 412,000 septums. Yeah, I guess finding him in his house is always going to be the best way. You never know what's in the road. I certainly can't kill him in front of everybody. Well, I guess I can kill him anywhere if I can get away with it, but then I'll have all the guards on me. Oh, well. He likes his wine. Really extensively large basement. Cages in here, I don't know. What it was being used at. Wine racks. Maybe he was just moved into here recently and was setting it all up. Ah, so his bedroom. Isn't a very wealthy mage, now is he? Not even a chest in here. Hm. I haven't seen that before. All right, well we're done. I guess we go to the next dead drop now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.